Hey, and welcome to this video lecture about the boyer moore horsball algorithm. My name is Inge Selman and this is an assignment for the Data Structures and Algorithms Unit at the University of Bristol. First, some basic information. This algorithm is used for finding substrings in strings. It is a simplification of the boyer moore search algorithm and was published by Nigel Horsbull in 1980. Its average runtime is O of n, but you can also find all of those infos on Wikipedia. So how does it work? I think it is best to explain with a few examples. We have a search string ABC, DBCE and the pattern ABC, and we start at the left end of the search string. Now the brute force method would be comparing the first characters, then the second and so on, and if we have a mismatch, we move the pattern to the right by one character. This, of course, is not really effective. Instead of using brute force, the horse spool algorithm matches the last character of the pattern to the corresponding position in the string. In this example, it would be, is C the same as C? Of course, yes, it is. We then move on one position to the left and compare again. We continue this for the rest of the pattern. In this case, our pattern occurs at the very beginning of the string, so we reach the end of the pattern without the mismatch. As a solution, we return the position of the first letter of the pattern in the search string. So what if the pattern is not at the beginning of the string? Again, we have an example. C and C match, but D and B don't. What we do next depends on whether the mismatching character in the search string does appear in the pattern to the left of the current position. In this case, does D appear in the pattern to the left of B? Here it does not, so we can shift the pattern to the right by the whole length of the pattern. We can do this because if the character does not appear in the remaining left part of the pattern, then there is no way that the pattern would match the string while overlapping with a character it does not contain. After shifting, we start again by comparing the right end of the pattern to its counterpart in the string. We have another example to show the behavior of the Horsbull algorithm if the mismatching character does appear in the pattern to the left of the current position. As before, C and C match and D and B don't. We check for D in the pattern to the left of B, and this time there is in fact a D. So this time we can shift by the whole length of the pattern, because it could be that the D in the string is in fact part of the pattern, just not at the current position, but somewhere else. In order to take this possibility into account, we only shift the pattern until the D we found in the pattern is aligned with the previously non-matching D in the string. Then we start matching the right end of the pattern again. If the D in the string was indeed part of the pattern, we will be able to match it this time, provided the other characters before that also match, of course. If there is more than one D left in the pattern, we pick the one closest to mismatch. Now we know how the algorithm finds the pattern in the string. We reach the left end of the pattern and have a match. Then we only need to return the position of the leftmost character of the pattern in the string. The other possibility is that the string does not contain the pattern at all. We detect this by a check we do every time we shift the pattern to the right. We simply verify that the remaining search string that still has to be searched is longer or at least as long as the pattern. If it is not, it obviously cannot contain the pattern and we know that the pattern is not contained in the string at all. Now for the performance. The horse spool algorithm works best on long patterns with no repeating characters. Then we can always shift by the whole length of the pattern once we encounter a mismatch. The average runtime is, as I said before, O of n, with n being the length of the string. The best case, if the pattern is not contained in the string, would be that the last character of the pattern is not contained in the string at all. You can skip over most of the string if that is the case. The worst case scenario has a runtime of O of M times N, with M being the length of the pattern and N being the length of the string. 
It is hard to achieve in normal use cases since the pattern would have to start with a character, in this example B, and repeat another character, let's say C, until the end. The third string would have to solely consist of Cs. This way, the pattern would be matched until you reach the B, making for M comparisons, and then be shifted by 1 and so on, making for a total of M times N comparisons.